everyone in previous video we saw how to get started with the installation of angular material framework in our angular application and we also saw how to add toolbar components in our application in this video we will see how to add sidebar navigation in the application so let's get started as I always recommend you to keep the documentation open, it is pretty much very helpful and easy to integrate any material component in your application. Let's go to the side nav page. So, okay. So there is two container within the main side nav container. Yes one is for sidebar and other one for page content so uh, let me copy this code and paste it so it will be easy rather than typing before that let's comment out our toolbar and add a property called open and as you know this won't work because we have to import the required module to make this side nav work so let's go to app.module and import the side nav module from angular material side nav package and add it to our imports so there we see start and main containers side by side which is hardly noticeable so let's add some CSS create a class and name it as a main container open the scss file of this component and add some css to this class position absolute and top bottom right and left has zero so that the whole container will fit to the entire screen and add background color of whatever you like let's move our toolbar to page content and there you go the container fitted to the screen let's change the label of the sidebar let's add as a welcome guest let's add some list item as menu item so uh, let's go to the documentation list mat list great add the list item and yeah don't forget to import the module from angular material list package import mat list module then add it to our imports and it works but something missing let me do some changes and make the UI look little better this is why I love SCSS we can add CSS block inside a CSS block and now it looks better now let's move to our next implementation that is button or icon which will invoke the slide in or slide out behavior of the sidebar let's add the property open which is a two-way binding property and assign an expression open sidebar which will hold a boolean value now go to the ts file and add open sidebar property and assign a default value now create a two function to open and close the sidebar let's see by adding two buttons to open and close the sidebar and assign a click event let's save it it works we can make it even more simple with an one button 
which will toggle the sidebar. Let's add a reference ID and use that reference ID to invoke the toggle behavior. You can check the documentation for all the available event and method for the sidebar functionality. It works. Let's move this button inside the mat toolbar. Great. Instead of the label, let's add mat icon which will look more appealing. And also let's change the button to mat button to get all those ripple effect and also imports for mat button. And there you go, icon with the ripple effect, perfect. So I think that's it for this video. We have successfully implemented the sidebar navigation. Hope it helps you. Just go to the documentation and try to add other components and keep practicing. And yeah, always remember, keep the documentation open. It will help you when you are stuck somewhere. And again, thanks for watching. Do me a favor by clicking a subscribe button and bell icon. See you in the next video.